Were you shocked when you heard Jerry Springer had died? So were some of his closest friends. For example, Steve Wilkos, who was bodyguard Steve for many years on The Jerry Springer Show, says he had no idea his friend was sick, and they'd just gotten together for cigars a month ago, but he wasn't the only one. On Billy Dukes, and by his own admission, Jerry Springer's show was... Well, he says it best. Was, no, my show is plain stupid. I mean, it's just, it's just... If you missed the 90s because you weren't born or you were raising kids in the wilderness or because you were in jail, the Jerry Springer show was provocative. His show is like the chaos of social media before there was social media. The yelling, the screaming, the saying stuff you shouldn't say, <laughs> inappropriateness. Yeah. Well, he really started something there. That's... That was country singer Dirk Bentley after learning the news of Jerry's death. Essentially, guests would come out to discuss a conflict, their combatant in that conflict would appear on stage, and it'd go like you figured it might. <laughs> Jerry was host. Steve was a former cop turned bodyguard, and from 1991 to 2018, it was a ratings juggernaut. It really was. The key was, as you just saw, Jerry didn't take himself too seriously. So other TV hosts respected him in what he proudly called trash TV. Here is Jerry with Oprah, Larry King, Jenny Jones, Montel Williams, Geraldo, and Sally Jesse Raphael. That group was basically the sitting presidents of daytime television before the internet. Upon hearing of Jerry's death on April 27th, Geraldo told E.T. he was shocked. Quote, he always seemed so full of light, so to get that he had passed was quite shocking. One of Jerry's closest friends was bodyguard Steve, who would go on to host, and still hosts, the Steve Wilkos Show. He paid tribute on Instagram with a pair of photos and a quote from Jerry. Quote, take care of yourself and each other, Steve said. He also shared an emotional meeting from Jerry's time hosting Judge Jerry, and then a couple of interview clips. Quote, everything I have that's good in my life is because of this guy, Steve says. One month ago, Jerry invited Steve to have a cigar with him, and looking back, Steve says he thinks Jerry was saying goodbye. Quote, we were reflecting on a lot of good times that we had, which we normally didn't do a lot. Then, he definitely said goodbye to me in a way that he was letting me know that that was the end. What Steve didn't know is what very few people knew. Jerry had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer just a few months prior. In the days before he died, his health declined quickly. It all seemed so sudden to the public, but his closest family, like daughter Katie, sister Evelyn, and a good friend named Gene, knew. Talking to WLWT-TV in Cincinnati, the city where Jerry was a newscaster, and the mayor in the 70s and 80s, Gene Galvin said, quote, He's irreplaceable, and his loss hurts immensely but memories of his intellect, heart, and humor will live on. Leave a kind word for his loved ones below. Rest in peace somehow seems not quite right for this television legend, so please join me in a solemn Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.